Hello, folks. We're back. The last game of Swiss Day 1 is G2 versus Pan Gaming. As always, guys, if you guys enjoy the content, feel free to drop a like, comment, and or a sub. Uh, helps me out a lot. Follow me everywhere at CubbyXX, especially on Twitch, where we stream these live. Now, with that being said, let's get into it. Last game of the day, guys. Let's dive on in. Uh, I don't have much help, hope for Pain. I, I feel like Pain already kind of outkicked their coverage with this. Uh, that said, I was really curious to see how we end up playing this game out if we are G2. So that being said, Shaq, Lucian, Akali taken away. I think Akali is definitely a setup for the Yone first pick. And then it is Poppy, Ori, Sichuani. Sichuani being taken away. End up first picking Maokai jungle. Definitely a specialty for karaoke. He was playing the Maokai quite a bit. It ends up being Yone, Brand, and Rel, which I like quite a bit. I feel Brand's still very playable. Your first clear is worse, but it's fine. Yone Yasuo on the same team, too. Very pog. Uh, the Yasuo mid for... Wait, who who goes where? Is it Yas mid for caps? Yeah? That's my assumption. Um, I don't like this Ayra Khan here. My my thing with Zyra Khan is that if everyone has to dog pile in, it's good. But if you get if you have to play against range, it's doomed. And we're playing against range here. This has a lot of range. This has range. You can zone the fuck out of you. I, I just don't think that, like... This is that good, this game. And then our front line, also very small for a smaller team. So I would like to see something very different here. I think picking Jin over here would have been the right call. I think Jin here is the right call. S scared of this G2 uh, draft? I'm a huge fan of this. I think G2's draft is really good. Oh, we have the collared shirts for G2 on the jersey? Do caps with the top button up? Okay. Yeah, G2's jersey is just okay. Uh, sorry. We're still pinging Travis a little bit. I am a company man. All right. Uh, grasp on Yasuo. So it's the Nar set up on Yas. Okay, interesting. Grasp on Aurora too. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, grasp on Smolder also makes sense. All right, everything kind of makes sense this game to me. I still don't like the demolish being taken on supports. I really like Final Life, but I get how early it's good for plates. Also, I do not like the brand setup. I was talking about this earlier. I, I prefer Conk or Blue Tree on brand. I think the Blue Tree you abuse a lot. I don't like Red Tree as much. Yeah, I think Jin on four would have been much better for uh, Pain with it's like buying space for Smolder and playing with your Malachi. Anyway, LEC crowds hyped to see G2. Pain is the 49th ranked team uh, according to the Amazon Gold Power Rankings. That's crazy. And it is no lane swaps, which I think really benefits G2. I don't know this top lane matchup, but I'm going to assume that we're playing Yasuo for a reason here, and he's got to win this lane. It was an E start, which I like. I don't like Payne's draft. They don't have a big enough front line for Smolder for me. Like, a lot of Smolder, it scales off of how big your frontline is, because you need to get Qs down. So it's like, how much space do you have to get Qs down on decent targets, and then how much time do you have to get Qs off? Because that's where your damage come, like, comes from, you know? Oh, they banned Jax from Wiser. That was smart. Wiser's Jax is actually really good in plans. Nice. Good trade from G2. Okay, Caps is doing okay. If he gets this wave and it's really good for him, I think he does get it in. That's really big. Wish that Pan would have played around that wave, honestly. 
I think giving giving Caps this wave is not good for this matchup for Smolder. Because Caps just gets a significantly better first base then. And also, I mean, he's going to TP back, but yeah, he got map. I would have liked pressure there, actually. I think that there was a legitimate chance to get something out of Caps. Karaoke plays that mid wave. Oh, we have a swap coming in. So they want to play Grubs topside? Okay. This will be matched, but at least they get first dibs. Yeah. All right, this really seems like the stock standard thing. I'm really wondering if we ever get a scenario here where, like, you can put your bot lane mid, though, for this. I know second Grubs will see some teams do that. Yeah, Yone is good. Really feels like Yone at the moment is dictating a lot of the meta. That and Zigzbans. I did pick Zigzbans in my pickums just because I thought that a lot of teams, like Ziggs is still the same champ. And also you can't really play AP bots without Ziggs. Like we haven't seen the brand and Cinder be played bot yet. Which is, those are the two big rumors that were flying around. Ooh. Do we like this from Pain? We're split. See, the shitty part is, is that you're against Bran. It's like even going on Bran, he just presses R and it's cooked. Quite literally. Because he's the Bran champ. He goes down, but who cares? There was a lot of tools burned, and Yasuo gets a wave in. And there's nothing that's taken off that fight that's significant besides Bran's life. Which, I mean... Malachi went down too, so it's fine. Like, Brand gets a kill. It's winning. Ons gets free line too. I mean, uh, both ADs do, so it it's whatever. He gets to pop biscuit and play more wave. Okay. Do we like this? It's a good Malachi ult. We, it, they do buy like a lot of space. I don't hate it. I think if Jin ult's angled better, it's actually playable. Like, if Jin ult's angled better, it's playable. No? Like, this is a bad Jin ult. And Jin ult should, in theory, be like here. Because then, like, they would walk into uh, Brand ult if they go up. That's the theory, at least for me. Yeah, the Maokai R was really good there from karaoke. So, nice. Alright. I don't hate it for Mickey, actually. I think it's pretty opportunistic and not terrible. They get Maokai Flash. They don't burn any sums on their side. It, it is what it is. I agree, Enigma, yeah. Still six grubs for G2 with Yone Asuo. Solo wins. That's pretty sweet. I mean, this G2 comp's fun. I mean, Brand or Maokai dies here because of what happened last time. Nice Q. He's got to burn. Yeah. 
Well played. This is good from G2. This is the G2 that I know and love. This Q from Yike is sweet. Because that, that does secure the kill. Well played, BB. I mean, again, they, they at least got an Akai flash. And it's a free land for Smolder, but they're winning. They get six scrubs push, and they overload to the side and get this. This is what I this is what I was screaming about teams to do with Ziggs, by the way, when you get six scrubs. G2 just did it with um, a TP and an overload, but it's really good. Caps is basing for this, by the way, too. It's really sick. Yeah, really, really, really sick. Really, really well done by G2. Nice. Big fan of that play. Really flash from BB. Didn't think for Kalmas there, I guess. I doesn't really have the vision to go for that, so. Guys, Yasuo is just too OP, you know? He griefed himself. I mean, again, Jin just winning in isolation, even with the pew pew build. And then the solo wins. It doesn't matter where the Yasu and Yone are matched up into. It looks like they just win. So they see karaoke topside, they just go play bot. They get to, they get mid prio too, because it's Jin and the Zaya. And they have six grubs, so this melts. Yeah, I mean, good shit from G2. They got two turrets with a six grub advantage, and they played it really well on their way there. Really, 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 really well done by G2, actually. Again, I, I think Payne's the worst team here. Uh, that's that's not a hot take at all. Um, but to see G2 play clean of the one is good. Definitely playing something too like other people have to start thinking about. That's free. I mean, the Zai is top. Off a row arm. Nice. Nice. Easy peasy, woman squeezy. Ooh, kind of cute to hear from Pen. We have uh, Cap slowing out the Rift Herald. So they do have time for this. Cap does have a TP. He's not going to take it, though. He's just going to Rift Top, which I like. Yeah, he's going to play Top and Mid. Oh, yeah, good discipline there from G2. This is not the worst death from them. I mean, again, quite a bit burned to get Yike. Uh, Rakan does Flash. Yike doesn't burn his own. That's good. And they see five, and they can't play any wins. So, again, it's hard winning. Caps doesn't even use the rifts. I, I think he could rift and take another turret, but he doesn't use it. See so if they can get something more. I think given that mid outer fell, I would have liked to see Caps actually use rift there. I think it does knock down top banner, and I think that would have been worth it for them. Would have created a very dead lane, though. So I'm wondering if they actually kept that turret up on purpose. To not give Smolder like freer farm safer in, into the map. That that is like actual theory. Uh that's not pseudoscience in the league. That, that's actually like theory that these guys should think about. And these shifts are still just so good from G2. They they get to just run the map. Ooh. Good flash from Hans. I think Hans could have pressed R a little bit sooner. Good flash from BB2. Nice. He would have that phase rush. Good. Wow, I can't believe everyone lived. Really nice from Mickey. Gets BB a good ult. BB's ult or flash out is fantastic. Wow, really, really well played by G2. Oh, yes, dude. G2 looks pretty good, guys. I'm happy. They're playing wild shit. They're playing it well. It's really good. This is this is when G2's at their best. 
Fuck yes. Oh, Riff was used top there, by the way. During that set of poise. And Caps is just really far up. Stride Breaker Yone also goes super hard this game. Dude, I really... I mean, G2 put together a nice map here this game. Yes, IE on the Jin. Fuck this RFC shit. Take the crits, take the damage. Good shit. Nice. I'm, I'm a happy camper watching G2. I want to see G2 against HLE. That's a real matchup, you know? Like, again, Pain's the worst team here. Honestly, it's, it's fine. Like, you want to face the good teams. If you lose, you lose. If you beat them, it's huge, you know? Anyway, if you win round one, there are no bad teams. And you're not going to get a bad team after going 1-0, you know? Odds of that, very low. If you want to win this tournament, you got to beat everyone, so might as well. Yeah, no, they don't get a rematch. I still just love how disappointed G2 were in playing out their three lanes this game. They got, they really played hard for Grubs. They got the Grubs, and then they're, they're playing the map out really well. I think the Zaya pick was game losing. Not taking Jin and taking Zaya was game losing. Jin and the Zaya is so good for Jin. I, I, I do not like that play from Pain at all. Yeah, I mean, the, the playing out three lanes is so big. I wish we had Yanya here still to watch out the three lanes supposed to be played. How our other teams were not doing it. I feel like we were overgrouping as Jax. All right, I'm gonna make. I'll make a tweet about my my day one earnings going into day two, and then we'll go over predictions for tomorrow, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so the fight breaks out. Yike with Vernon Barrier are like a lot, by the way. Um, good player from Smolder. I mean, he gets out. It's questionable flash from Mickey. Oh, BB? Holy shit, BB. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, this I think they gave a little bit more gold over to Pain than they would have liked, but at least Caps gets his shit. Can we see this going any other way? And if Mickey invests Flash and they start off the fight onto the Smolder, I think it goes better for sure. And then BB kind of saves it. That's really big from BB. Because he got Teton. So well, well played. Nice Flash from Yike too. Yeah, well played. Oh, this is not this is not cool. Fuck this champion, man. Holy shit. There's a reason that Yone is my ban. He was none the wiser. Kappa. Oh no. I mean, the Nothing Soul really hurt Pain this game, too. Like, having it be an ocean. Yasuo's going same build as Yone. That's really funny. The Stride Breaker giving some attack speed actually really did change things for Yasuo Yone. Yeah, I mean, it's just really good from G2. I, again, I love how disciplined G2 is playing. Like, this is what their comp can and should do. Never give Smolder the 5v5, and they're playing it well. BB... Oh, BB didn't jump in off Mickey there. I feel like that's not a Mickey yet. It's kind of a team call. Cap's going to pull two waves. Base as fuck. Yes, base, base caps. Dude, holy shit. This is a fun game, actually. I, I love G2, man. Yes. G2 gaming forever. Oh, this, this team's so fun, man.
Yeah, I mean, that's the right play from Caps. Yeah, just go right back to Baron. Get the pressure back. Good luck, Aurora. Like, you're losing your base. They don't... They again just keep this forever, by the way. They just got Aurora all for free. Caps alts out. And then they killed it. <laughs> it's holy shit. They put pain to the fucking blunder. They put pain to the blunder, actually. Wow. Good shit, G2. Yeah, it's so good. I want them to put Caps top now, though. Caps should base and go top. You have Bont Inhibitor and Dragon Spawns next. Put them top. BB top's fine, too. Put, go push top. I mean, That's why Yone is so bullshit, man. You just E, you're forever safe, and you just kill waves. Like, how is that fair? The E is the stupidest steroid, by the way. Block now, Kyalti. BB goes in. I don't give a shit about Mickey dying. Alright, Caps misses. They get two. It's fine, just go back to put the waves. Like, the, the fight's whatever. Yeah, you just get waves after. Yeah, good job. That's funny. Alright, so they put... Yeah, Caps is top. Good. Drag, uh, dragon's up, Caps is top, right? That's the game plan. Good. Caps has TP, cannot be touched. Yep. Just gets the E, uses his face to scout, walks out because Yone is fun. Free Drake. Good try. I, there's really not much to say about this game. I, I love the way that G2 put this game out. I really do. I think G2 played an awesome game. Caps is at 395 at 32 minutes, by the way. That's crazy. Yep. Look at how fucking sick that champion is, guys. Really, really, really fun. Really healthy for the game. A lot of counterplay there. Oh? Ouch. It's a well-placed bullet. Oh, another well-placed one. Oh, no. So that's how it ends. Oh, BB lives this, by the way? Nice. Oh, my God. Well, that's one way to end the game. Damn, well played G2. That was, that was a fun game to watch, actually. That was really fun. The Bash Brothers comp, how they played it out, it was really fun. All right. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in the VOD review. That's the last one for day one. Really appreciate it if you guys are on the stream. If not on YouTube, also appreciate you. Feel, feel free to drop a sub for more. Likes and comments go a long way with my channel, too. Uh, and follow me everywhere at CubbyXX. We'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.